Hi, I'm Robin, the Sudoku guy. Welcome to the second lesson, and this is another free lesson. Last lesson, we looked at horizontal blocks, where we looked at these blocks of nine across this way, this way and this way, and we were using the principle of top, middle, bottom to work out where the numbers went. Each of these blocks has a top and a middle and a bottom. Now today, we're going to introduce you to another step to solve these puzzles, and it's called the LCR. And you may wonder, what does that mean? Well, it refers to left, center, and right. I'll explain that more in detail later on, but let's get going on solve this puzzle. We'll go through the same procedure as we did for the last puzzle. First of all, we look at ones. There's only one one, so forget it. Twos. All the twos are there, top, middle, and bottom, so forget it, they're done. Threes, there's only one three, no three here or here, so forget it, don't worry about it. Fours, there's only one four, there's not one here or here, so forget about it. Fives, there's not one five there, so we we'll push on to six. Now there are two sixes, we have a six in this block on the bottom, we have a six in this block in the middle, Therefore, this block that doesn't have a 6, it has to be on the top. And there's only one place for it to go, and that is there. Let's do 7s now. We have two 7s. We have a 7 on the bottom here in this block, a 7 at the top here. Therefore, a 7 has to go in here. So we put a little 7 there and a little 7 there, and now we come to the next important step. We look down the column to see if there is a 7, because you can't have two 7s in a column. And yes, there is a 7 there, so that cancels out this 7. So therefore, this 7 becomes the real big 7. 8. There's only one 8. Forget it. 9. There's two 9s. There's a 9 on the top in this block. There's a 9 on the bottom of this block. Therefore, top, bottom, it has to be in the middle, so this becomes a 9. Look down, there's no 9s here, so we're fine. Um, let's now go to these three blocks. Ones to begin with. Well, we have a one on the top here in this block. We have a one on the top here in this block. Therefore, we need a one in the... Well, here we have a one on the bottom of this block, sorry. And therefore, in this block, the one has to be in the middle, and there's only one place for it to go, and that's there. Oh, that's neat. Next, go to the twos. There's only one two. Forget it. Threes. We've got all the threes. Bottom, middle, and a top. Fours. We have two fours. A top and a bottom. Therefore, the fours need to go over here. So you can, you can do it two ways. You can do four, 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 and then look up and down. Well, let's do that. If you look down here, there's a four already. So that cancels out that four. And if you look here, uh, down... There's no fours, but here, when you look up, there's a four there, so that cancels out that four. So the real four will go there. Let's look at now at fives. We have a five here and a five here, a bottom and a top. It has to be over there in the middle. So we put two little fives there, little five there and there, and I look up and down. There's no other fives, so leave it for the time being. Sixes. Well... Here we have two sixes. We have a six on the top in this block. We have a six on the bottom in this block. And we have a six needs to be in these two cells. So we can put two little sixes in. But if you look upwards here, you'll notice that there's a six already in that column. So that cancels that six out. This becomes your six. Big number. Sevens. There's only one seven. Okay. Eights. I don't see any eights. Nines, there's only one nines. One nine, so we push down down to these three horizontal blocks. Take the ones. We have a top, a middle, and a bottom. Done. Forget about it. Fixed. Twos, there's no twos. There's no twos in either of these three blocks. Threes, yes, there's one three. That's not good enough. We need two of them. Four, we have two fours, a top here and a bottom here. So therefore, the fours have to go in the middle. Now, we'll put a 4 in here, a 4 in here, and a 4 in here, and we look up. Oh, look here, there's a 4 there, so that means that this cannot be a 4. 
we've already got a four, but those two could be because there's no four up above them. So this, it's all we can do for the time being. It just stays little numbers. Um, fives. There's only one five, I think. Six. Yes, this is an interesting one. We have a bottom, we have a middle, and we have a top. And now if I put a six, it can be any, any one of these three. But when we look up here on this column, that six is, cancels out this one. And we look for take this six here and go up, that six cancels out this one, which means that this has to be the real six, because the only one left. Sevens. There's two sevens, a middle, a bottom, Therefore, in this one, it has to be on the top. There's no seven there, and it has to go there. And uh, eights, there's two eights. We have an eight on the top here. We have an eight in the middle here. Therefore, in this block, the eight has to be in the bottom. So we do an eight there and an eight there, and look up. Ooh, there's no eights on either of them, so we keep the little eights there. Now, that's completed what we learned last lesson. But now we come to the next step. The left, center, and right. It's called LCR. Left center and right. What do I mean by that? In the, we, these are vertical columns and they have a left row a column, a center column and a right column. Similarly here, a left column, center right, co right column. Same over here. And we're going to do it this way. Watch how I do it. Once again, we'll start with ones and go up to nine. Let's take the ones. We have one on the left, one on the center and one on the right. Done. Fixed. Don't worry about it. Two. There's only one two in these three blocks. Threes. Well, we have two threes. We have a three in the center. We have a three on the left. Therefore, the three has to be over on the right in this block. And it, there's only one place for it to go. So it replaces that four. And this is the neat thing when you put two little numbers in. Once you've done that, you know that that has to be a four because we figured out that that's the only two places a four could go. What about fours? Well, we have two fours now. We have a four here, center, a four on the left. So therefore, up in here, a four has to be on the right. Well, there's only one place for a four can go. If I put it there and there, that won't work, will it? So we will rub that one out because there's a four over there. So this becomes the four. OK, pushing right along, fives. We've only got one five. Don't worry, move on. Sixes. We've got our sixes. Watch, look at this. We have a right, a left, and a center. Uh, sevens. We've got our sevens. Fantastic. What I wanted to point out to you is this word up here. See that word ram? When we do the vertical, we look to see if whatever number we put in, what does that lead to in terms of another number? And let me show you something here. Um, let me see, what did new numbers did we put in? We put in a nine. That didn't have any effect because we've got all our nines there now. The four. Oh, this four had a ramification. Look, if you look across here, that four means that you've got a four in the middle here now. Four, four, four. Because top, middle, and bottom. Now that four is very valuable just because we looked at for ram. Now, we did, did I put a new three in? Did that help us at all? No, it didn't. What is another new number that I put in? I put in a three here, we've got that number, but that didn't have any ramifications. Fours, and that four finished up these three fours. So we're, we're doing all right. Let's take the five. We didn't have anything with five. Sixes, we did the sixes. Sevens, sevens are done. Nines, this is interesting, look at this. Here is a, here's a left. There's a right, this block doesn't have a nine, and it therefore has to be in the center, so it will go there. Okay, pushing right along. Now we'll do these three vertical blocks and include ram as well. Let's take the ones. Well, here's a one in the center, here's a one in the right. Whatever goes in this block has to be on the left. And we could put it there, or we could put it there. But guess what? We look over here and there's a one already there. So that cancels out that one. This becomes the one. And now let's look at the ramification of that one. We have now two ones in this horizontal section. One, one, a bottom and a top. Therefore, there's got to be a one over here in these two little ones. Now let's look, at, look down 
same, same principle, you look down, oh, there's a one here. So that cancels out this one, and therefore this one becomes the one. Was that ever neat, seeing the ramification of that? You know, sometimes you can go right around the whole puzzle filling in numbers just because of ramification. Knowing, using the uh, top, middle, bottom and LCR, left, centre, right system. I have just noticed something, and that is in this row, we've only got one cell left. Why not fill it in? What would it be? Let's count it up. One, two, three, four, five. There's no, no five, so we'll put a five there. And now that block has only got one left in it. What number would that be? One, two, three. Three is missing. Now, want any ramifications of that one? Yes, look at the ramifications of this one. Uh, bottom, middle, this has to be a three. Wow. What a difference it makes when you do look for ramifications. Now, what I was up to doing down here, we got up to two. We, we have two, we have a, this block has got a two. We're going, continuing on with the vertical, vertical uh, blocks. This one's got a two, this one's got a two, that's a left, that's a right, that's a center. This one has to be on the left and there's two little ones. I look this way and this way, there's no other twos. Leave them small for the time being. Threes, well, Here's a three, and there's a three. A right, a left, therefore it has to be in the center. So this becomes a three. Now, is there any, any ramifications of that? No, there isn't, because we now got all the threes across. Fantastic. Fours. Fours are done. We have a center, a left, and a right. Fives. We have one five. That doesn't help us. Sixes. We have a, a, a center, a right, and a left. We're done. Sevens. We have, we have a center, a left. So this one has to have it on the right. Left, center, right. That's the only place it can go. Okay. Now what's the ramification of doing that? Well, here is a, here is a middle. There's a top. This one has to be on the bottom. So it goes there. Any ramifications of that? No, all these sevens are done now. Okay, let's do eights in these three blocks. There's only one eight, so we push on to nines. Nines in these three blocks, we have only one nine, so leave it. Now we'll go and do vertical blocks on these three going down. Let's take the ones. Ones and we got a right, we got a left, we got a center. We're set. Twos. We've got one, two here, and that's all. Leave it. Threes. Now I know some of you are going to say, "Oh, I can see how you put another number in." Don't worry. Those steps are going to come later in the course. Okay. Um, center, a right, and a left. They're done. Four. Right, left, center. Done. Fives. We have one five here. That cancels out this five. So this becomes a five. Okay, and that works out. You can always check yourself. Look, left, center, right. Yes, we did it right. Okay. Um, sixes. Six, we have a six here, a six here, and a six there. We have a, a center, a left, and a right. We're, we're doing fine. Uh, eight, sevens. We're done with the sevens here. Done. Eights, we have two eights. We have two eights. We have a center and we have a left. This block has a left. This block has a center. Therefore, this block has to have it on the right. So that becomes an eight. Now, what does that mean? We've now got this block that's only got one number left. We can work out what that is very quickly by going one, two, three. Oh, it's a two. Didn't even get to nine. Okay. Now, once we've got that two in, we look for the ramifications. We have a right, we have a center, and this has got to be on the left. So that's the only place it can go. Now, what's the ramification of putting that there? Well, that means it cancels out this two. So that two's gone. Therefore, that becomes the big two. You see how that works? The ramification can just be so powerful. You get so many numbers, little numbers and big numbers. Now, I look at this block here. I notice that there's only one cell left. Let's count up, find out what it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a nine. 
Now, to check ourselves, we have a centre, a right, and a left. We've done it right. We. Okay, now we're at the stage where we're going to be looking for um, blocks and rows and so on that have maybe only got one left, one cell left. Well, here's a, here's a, a column that's only got one left, and the number missing is one, two, three, four, uh, there's no five, so the five goes in there. Fantastic. Okay, now we have a block here that only has one left in it. Let's count up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has to be a nine. We can double check ourselves by going bottom, middle, top. Now this row here only has one left in it. Let's count up, find out what it is. One, two, three, four, it's a five that's missing. And now we've got this column with only one number left. And guess what it's going to be? It's got to be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight. We've got a nine there. So that becomes the eight. So we no, that no longer is an eight. But that block here has only got one cell left. It is a two, I believe. One, two. Yes, there's two missing in there. Now, what's the ramification of that? Anything? Let's find out. Look, here is something that I hadn't noticed before because this is, happens a lot with ramification. You've missed it. When I put that 2 in, I didn't look this way. And look, we have a 2 and a 2, therefore this becomes a 2 because it's a top, a middle, and a bottom. Now, this particular block has only got one left in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's an 8, okay? 8, so we have a left, we have a right, we have to have a centre, that becomes an 8. Now this row has only got one left. 1, 2, 3, 4, it's a 5 that's missing. We'll put the 5 in. Okay, now this column here only has one left, is that correct? Oh, and this row only has one left, and this row has only one left. We're getting close to the end. Okay, here we go with, uh, let me see now. Uh, we'll do this one first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's got to be an eight. And that's a middle, bottom, top. Yes, we did it right. What about this row here? We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got to be a nine. And we just, if you want to check yourself, you go right, center, left. Okay, this row, is, this column has only got one left in it. One, two, three, four. I think it's a five. Five goes there. And therefore this block has only got one left in it. Or you could do it with this column has only got one left in it. Take your pick. And I think it's an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And voila, whoopee. We've completed a puzzle. What have we done? We've done horizontal blocks and then we've done vertical blocks with ramifications. And then when we've done all that, we look for rows, columns, and blocks with only one cell left. Easy. Now, I should give you some heads up on this. We're still doing the very easy puzzles. Don't think that you can now go out and buy a book uh, and they're all the easy ones in the book are going to be easy. You know what I've found? Let me talk a bit about books. There's lots of them on the market and there's, 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 there's advantages and disadvantages. One thing about the books is that i found sometimes they'll say it is easy and it's not. Sometimes they'll say it is difficult and it's easy. So they're not always that very accurate, but generally speaking, the larger the number of initial numbers, the easier it is. But that's only a general comment, not always the case. Also, if you're going to go out and buy a book, may I suggest, at least for me anyway, with my bad eyes, I buy a book that's got fairly large little cells in it. If you buy a book that's got three or four puzzles on one page, it becomes too small and it gets very messy with all the little numbers and so on. So if you can get a book that's got bigger uh, little cells, cells in the puzzle, maybe one, one puzzle a page is a great way to go. But that's up to you, of course. There's another thing about books. They've got the answers at the back. And it's so easy to cheat. Try and avoid doing that if you can. Okay? Now, there are going to be some times where you can look at the back of the book to see if you've made a right decision. But it's very dangerous because you tend to see other numbers and that's not good. So that's it for today's lesson. 
Next lesson, we go on to some more advanced work, and I'm looking forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.